Dear ladies and gentlemen, the reason for my thesis is antibiotic resistance. Resistant bacteria cause a lot of trouble all over the world. And currently, they are responsible for 700,000 deaths annually and globally. And if it stays like it is, this number will rise to 10 million by 2050. And this means that antibiotic resistance would cause more deaths than any other disease. There are two main reasons for that. Firstly, bacteria are everywhere. They are everywhere you look. They are usually on everything you touch. And they are on and inside our bodies, outnumbering our human cells. Secondly, these many bacteria share genes with each other, not only by cell division, but yes, they also share genes immediately by sex-like activities. This is like a brown-eyed man having sex with a blue-eyed woman. And after that, his eyes turn blue too. Bacteria also incorporate resistance genes from dead neighbor bacteria. This is like a brown-eyed man going to a funeral of someone who had blue eyes, eating a piece of the dead body, and then he has blue eyes too. Um, one of the resistance mechanisms are pumps, which pump antibiotics out of bacteria. They are called efflux pumps. I isolate blockers of these pumps from plants. They are called efflux pump inhibitors. Plants have been exposed to bacteria for millions of years. That's why they, be, they produce antibiotics and efflux pump inhibitors. In that way, plants make sure that their antibiotics stay inside bacteria and kill bacteria. I test the antibacterial effect of plant antibiotic combinations. If the combination shows a better effect than the antibiotic alone, I take the plant and isolate substances which are responsible for the antibiotic enhancing effect. After that, I bring my bacteria together with an isolated antibiotic enhancing substance and with an antibiotic that just shows light when it's inside bacteria. The more light is inside bacteria, the more antibiotics, the more, the more of the antibiotic is inside bacteria. The lower is the activity of bacterial efflux pumps and the better is the new efflux pump inhibitor. Currently, I work with the plant turmeric, you might know it as curcuma, and it leads to a 32-fold increase of antibiotic effects. No efflux pump inhibitor is currently in medical use, and that's why we need to get efflux pump inhibitors pushed on the market to keep the upper hand against the rise of the superbug. Thank you.